because they are selling to you fame, they will lie to you about the quality of talent. That is the reason for the decline in the entertainment business as a whole, every industry, every subculture, everything. And the re- that they're investing in cheapness because it's quick dollars and quick returns. Another reason is they have lied to you about the uh, the quality and what the um, ability of these artists have. They've been lying. They've been saying how much, how great they are by selling to you the fame. Oh, they're famous because of how good they are. No, they're not good. Y'all good because of labels. A lot of these people, they are good because of labels They're good because of marketing. Well, not good. They're famous because of marketing. They're famous because of labels. They're not good because their raw talent that that God gave them is presented this way. No, a a lot of y'all could sing but didn't really know how to switch octaves. A lot of y'all could sing but didn't know how to write. A lot of y'all could write but couldn't sing. Didn't know how to produce a beat. Didn't know how to edit nothing. Didn't know how to upload. Use your phone right. So what did the label do? Everything else for you. Y'all be presenting like, what do they say? 10% of what you do in the industry is based on your talent, right? So if that's the case, then why would we ever think for the last hundred plus years that, oh, they've been cheating these people. I'm not speaking for everybody, but I am speaking for the majority that y'all think that it's because of the industry is the reason why these people are failing. No, these people are failing because they suck. That goes for every one of you, everybody in these genres, every genre, every subculture. Like on my channel, I talk a lot about battle rap. So in battle rap, it's like, yo, Y'all are not being told that you guys aren't good. Same thing with every other industry. You're not being told you're not good. And if you are being told that, you you don't believe it. Y'all seriously believe that y'all average shit is worth millions, sometimes worth billions of dollars, and really it ain't. Y'all couldn't sell a sneaker if you went out on a corner and tried to sell a sneaker. But since we like the fact that you can sing and they put you on every commercial related to Ford, we're going to buy this sneaker and we're also going to buy a car. Like, it, it really be the machines, yo. It's not that they just dictate everything. No. They literally try to buy into talent. There's, it's not like other people are offering you hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars for whatever you're selling. So that, that's not the case, right? So why can't people accept that? Yo, sometimes it's the fact that y'all really not that good. And it's a very rare, rare, rare amount of people that have raw talent enough that could carry them for years, have longevity, can be marketed themselves, like everywhere they go, they can make a dollar from what they sell. In every direction that they go, they can make a dollar from what they sell because that's their God-given raw talent of creativity. But also hard work. People who want to get up and do something else People who don't want to rely on the system and they want to do the hard work. The people who aren't greedy because y'all really want to be more famous than have money anyway. That's why y'all strive so much to be in front of the camera all the time instead of being behind the desk that makes the money. Y'all laugh at the people behind the desk, but they're the ones making the money. Meanwhile, all you people in front of the camera are advertised as rich you're advertised as having a net worth but you don't actually have that money in your pocket you can't go nowhere and pull out 25 million dollars you can't go nowhere and just pull out a 400 million dollars oh i got i'm worth my net worth is uh 
300 billion dollars you ain't got a single property in the world that got that cash in there and i ain't trying to hear no bank if you talking about a bank you oh, that shit is good as digital it's good as digital you y'all don't money don't be existing for you people like that y'all gotta do so much work to have that money investments all of that shit money is sold less than fame it's the fame is the reason why the industry is dying. The fame is shit. And then the greed that comes with it. Y'all literally get greedy because of how famous you are. And they sold the fame. They sold you your fame. You bought into it, stupid. Then you thought that it was real to the point where you should get paid a lot of money for it. Then they say, you know what? Fuck y'all. We're going to just invest in the cheap shit because honestly, we do got all the money and we do got we have millions in our catalogs for all types of entertainment to go off of. If we want to just go and sell it, we don't need y'all anymore. There is a hundred million plus songs. There is a hundred. There is thousands and thousands of battle rap. If they want to if you want to go there, there is thousands of movies there is thousands and thousands of hours of footage in sports there's so many clothing designs they can make a million combinations out of any of these things they don't need us to sell nothing it's just easy to well to have any fortune they only need you to market it easier 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 and most of the time, it's not even more efficient for them. It's way less lucrative to put money into everybody's pocket to become these stars. And then you buy into their celebrityism so much that now they got to start paying them for shit that they didn't even make a dollar from. They didn't make the company that much money. The company made the company that much money. They the ones that made the toys. You ain't make no manufacturing plant and make a hundred thousand units of an item. So why do people think that they just deserve that? You didn't do nothing. They put your face on something. Oh, that's what sold it. No, me making the damn toy and putting your face on it is what sold it. It's a marriage. And trust and believe. We put your face on this guy's dial that's somewhere in New Hampshire. That shit going to sell in New Hampshire. But we put your face on this dial that's going to be in 2,000 different stores. Now you're getting sold in 2,000 different stores. It's called access. And that's what the marketing really is. Y'all are getting paid way more than what y'all are actually physically worth. I swear to God, if they was, if the labels and the big wigs was to expose how much y'all actually make people on your own, you would never be able to ask for another check again in your life. One thing that nobody ever asks for when it comes to how much something is worth is cost. How much do you cost? What is the insurance like behind you? What is the longevity lifespan of investing in you? Are you worth an investment that's actually worth the money that you think you're worth? Or at some point you're going to do some stupid shit that's going to make us pull out of our investments anyway. And don't be thinking about none of that. They just... They just want things. And then, of course, it's going to kill the quality because they start investing in the cheap people who don't want that much. Or they investing in people who want a lot, but they know that they never going to make that money back anyway. And they're going to be in debt to them. So now we get to have you and your music for the rest of eternity. And then redistribute it, repurpose it, do all this stuff to make the money that we really want. Whatever it is that we want from you. But I, I, I don't know. 
Y'all got to figure out how to actually make yourselves valuable before you depend or before you rely on the systems and before you think the systems owe you know what value you bring to said system, especially if you go in the route of that. If not, stay independent and make your own shit. Fuck the greed. If you make 90, if if you an artist that's used to making 500,000 units of sales, but a lot of that money is probably going to other third party transactions, people in your pocket, right? But then you say, all right, I'm independent now. And you made 90,000 sales, but all of that money is yours. You just... <laughs> Whatever price you put on it times 90,000 is what you made for you. It's all yours. That's enough, right? No, they want that stupid advance that they'll never pay back. The 20 million that eventually that you're going to get so pressured, you're going to end up on a drug or some kind of other dumb vice and never get the money paid back anyway. So that it goes from a $50 million net worth to a five. And they think that's broke. I'm out of here.